Mueller about to blow up Washington. Rumors swirl after 34 cases are filed in D.C. federal court. Special counsel Robert Mueller's probe into Russia's alleged interference in the 2016 presidential election continues to hang over Washington, D.C. like a dark cloud. The investigation, which has already produced two indictments, former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort and business partner Rick Gates may very soon engulf even more political figures, a lot of them. Rumors are swirling after 34 sealed cases were filed in D.C. federal court. Rachel Stockman writes, Lawnews.com verified that there are currently 34 cases that have been filed under seal in U.S. District Court for the District of Columbia between the dates of October 27th when Manafort was indicted and today's date. While the sealed cases are certainly interesting to note, they may not be tied to Special Counsel Robert Mueller's investigation of possible ties between the Trump campaign and the Russian government that's not stopping the rumors. Uh, a, set, a thread uh, reference sealed indictments. The Manafort indictment was filed under seal on October 27 and unsealed on October 30th when Manafort was arrested. Since uh, October 27th, there are currently 35 sealed indictments filed in the district court DC. Here are screenshots with case numbers. Others noted a high number of sealed cases in Virginia federal court as well. 50 sealed indictments this morning in East District of Virginia today. Are we dumping our color of law rat lines, gents? A few other words of caution. Sealed indictments are not uncommon, and the U.S. Attorney's Office in D.C. does many complex cases. Mueller is not the only active prosecutor working in that courthouse. I'm not saying nothing is cooking, but don't read too much into docket numbers, tweeted editor-in-chief of Lawfare blog Benjamin Witts. Uh, I have no basis to say whether any of those cases are related to the Mueller investigation or not. A few words of caution. Okay. News of the sealed cases come amid reports that Team Mueller possesses sufficient evidence to charge retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn. NBC News reports federal investigators have gathered enough evidence to bring charges in their investigation of President Donald Trump's former national security advisor and his son as part of the probe into Russia's intervention in the 2016 election, according to multiple sources familiar with the investigation. The investigators are speaking to multiple witnesses in coming days to gain more information surrounding Flynn's lobbying work, including whether he laundered money or lied to federal agents about his overseas contacts, according to three sources familiar with the investigation. Mueller's team is also examining whether Flynn attempted to orchestrate the removal of a chief rival of Turkish President Recep Erdogan from the U.S. to Turkey in exchange for millions of dollars, two officials said. According to recent reports, former CIA Chief James Woolsey uh, briefed law enforcement agents working with the special counsel on matters relating to General Michael Flynn's plan to remove a Turkish cleric from the U.S. As the Gateway Pundit previously reported, special counsel Robert Mueller called on the Trump administration to hand over documents in relation to retired Lieutenant General Michael T. Flynn, Mueller is demanded the, has demanded the documents in order to investigate potential secret payments to Flynn by the Turkish government. Secret memos reveal that former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn became a nuisance to the FBI when he intervened in an agent's discrimination case 
years before the Russia probe. Well, I guess we're going to have to wait and see uh, what this all means, but uh, he's got a lot of cases there swirling around. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.